Moving on to soft engineering coastal management strategies. So unlike hard engineering strategies, they work with natural processes. So if you remember sea walls, revetments, riprap, they absolutely do not work with natural processes. They work very much against them, whereas soft engineering strategies are the total opposite. And because of this, they're usually cheaper. And they look natural, but not as effective at preventing coastal erosion compared with hard engineering strategies. We're going to be looking at the following soft engineering coastal management strategies in more detail. So beach replenishment, cliff regrading, ecosystem rehabilitation, sand dune nourishment, otherwise known as revegetation. and managed retreat. So beginning with beach replenishment. As the name suggests, sand is placed on a beach to create a higher and wider beach, meaning that more wave energy can be absorbed, thus protecting the land behind. So what are the various advantages of this? Well, it's a sustainable approach. The fact that you're creating a larger beach means, means that it's likely to be more appealing to tourists. Big disadvantage is that the sand needs to be transported to the site. Next up, cliff regrading. This is when the steepness of the cliff is reduced, meaning that it's less vulnerable to collapse. Good things about this is that it's fairly low cost and again, it's sustainable. Bad things about it is that it involves the loss of part of the cliff. And whilst doing this, the cliff itself may collapse, particularly if it's unstable to begin with. Ecosystem rehabilitation. So this is planting vegetation and restoring natural processes. Advantages of this is that it enhances the natural appearance. So it's a nice, pretty approach to preventing coastal erosion as opposed to building something like a sea wall or fitting gabions. highly sustainable and it will prevent erosion because remember those plant roots will help hold down the sand. It does require maintenance and again it's not going to be the 
most amazingly effective way of stopping erosion. Sand dune nourishment. Specifically, this is planting marum grass, which remember is commonly found on sand dunes. A highly specialized plant. The grass traps the sand and it provides a barrier between the sea and land. It's a fairly cheap process and approach, and again, highly sustainable. Disadvantages, again, there's no guarantee that the sand will remain in place. And they are very, very fragile ecosystems. Sand dunes may be damaged by storms, people trampling tourist activities. Managed retreat now. This is when some areas of low value land are just allowed to be flooded. So basically we give up in these areas in terms of trying to stop the sea doing its thing. And because that water is seawater, you're gonna produce a salt marsh, which is a very valuable habitat for birds and vegetation. We're gonna be providing a natural barrier between the sea and land. Where that land is owned by landowners, they'll require compensation. Not that that's a particularly a bad thing, I'm just writing it here. Because effectively they're losing their land to the salt marsh. Mm. 